All right. And we finish in Lincoln tomorrow. Wisconsin Badgers five and five against the Nebraska Cornhuskers five and five. The Huskers are one and a half point favorites, two thirty on the BTN. Josh, let's hear it, my friend. A lot of talk this week about two things: streaks and bulletin board material. Let's start with streaks. Ten straight losses to Bucky. That crappy mascot looks like the constipated neighbor in a Walt Disney cartoon who tells the other animals to keep it down because he's trying to sleep. You can probably rattle off a bunch of different streaks in your head, right? The Cubs 107-year World Series drought. What? The Red Sox 86-year World Series drought. What? The Undertaker's WrestleMania streak. What? Joe DiMaggio's 56-game hit streak. Hasn't been broken. What? Cal Ripken's Iron Man Hasn't streak. Hasn't been broken. What? what are you doing? What do they all have in common? They ended. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. Damasio's streak didn't get broken. Tomorrow in Lincoln, <laughs> on senior day, no less, you can be Nebraska's Theo Epstein. You can be Brock Lesnar. Careful, though. You can be uh. Al Smith. You can be Cal Ripken Jr. He still has the record. Look, look that one up. But the streak Every ended. streak oh. has to end sometime. It's how you respond that matters. So many people bitching, moaning, complaining that Nebraska will never win another game this year. That's loser talk. You know who ain't talking like a loser? <laughs> Dylan Riola. <laughs> he essentially guaranteed Nebraska will go to a bowl game. But Josh, oh, no. that'll give Wisconsin bulletin board material. Good. Let those whiskey b***s <laughs> cast their eyes upon <laughs> greatness tomorrow. A little bit of smack talk is good for the soul. Boil that blood up a bit. MTV used to air a show every afternoon dedicated solely to your mama jokes. Nice. Nebraska football was better than. <laughs> hey, Wisconsin, your mama's so fat when she got on the scale, it said, I need your weight, not your phone number. Hey, Wisconsin, nice. your mama's so fat, she doesn't need the internet because she's already worldwide. Hey, Wisconsin, your mama's so fat, she got baptized at SeaWorld. Mm. And tomorrow, there's going to be a baptism by fire at Memorial Stadium. One more for the seniors. They've been through hell and back. They deserve the ultimate send-off. A bowl game. Nebraska 20, Wisconsin 12. Wow. Let's break the streak. And Bucky's heart. Yeah, I hate that stupid Badger. Badger sucks. I like the string of yo mama jokes. I know. That's a good touch. <laughs> well, we called Wisconsin oh, Mother's Fat earlier this Wisconsin week. Wisconsin Fatties. Nice little callback if you've been listening to every second so of we the need, show. So you're going to get some clarification on the streaks here. Yeah. Those are all great they, streaks they, that they, you think of when they you hear ended. the word streaks. Yes. They ended. Those all ended. They were not broken. Uh-huh. Right, right. Okay, okay. They were not. Semantics. Most everything. of them were not broken. Will Compton does not care about your semantics, I guarantee it. Also, do not try and emulate Brock Lesnar in life or in yeah, career. Careful. Yeah. Careful with that one. 20 to 12. 20 to 12. Nebraska scores three touchdowns, misses an extra point. Wisconsin kicks four field goals. I actually think there's going to be more points in this game than, uh, than some are thinking. I'm going to take uh, the Huskers to win by the final count of 27 to 21. That would be the over oh. 42 and a half. That'd be oh. 48 um, for the uh, for the record here. Um, but Nebraska punches it in the end. I think what we're dealing with here is two teams that are in a bad way. And um, Nebraska has the stability. <laughs> they do have the stability advantage in offensive coordinator. That's Longest for sure. reigning offensive coordinator. Give me Nebraska to win. 
go to the bowl game. I don't know how many times I've said it 40 times over the last two years. <laughs> it's absurd.